Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Hello, I'm Courtney Hyman. Thank you so much for tuning in to Courtney Explains It All. Today we're going to talk about inclusion. So what does inclusion mean? The practice or policy of providing equal access to opportunities and resources for people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized, such as those who have physical or intellectual disabilities and members of other minority groups. Inclusion means getting out into the community and um, getting to do things with your non-disabled peers because then you can uh, learn new things and be able to uh, do things with other people. Last year I spoke to a group of kids about inclusion and I was telling them it could be as simple as um, inviting somebody to play with you at the playground or um, inviting somebody to have lunch with you and just, you know, spending time together and getting to know each other. Adults can practice inclusion by um, talking to a local uh, restaurant or business manager about um, about um, if places are inaccessible um, because if a place is not accessible, that can make people feel excluded. Adults can practice inclusion in the workplace by um, talking. If they have a disability, they can talk to their boss and tell their boss um, what they might need help with in their job due to their disability. and. Um, and they can work with them to find out what accommodations they need and what would be best to help them. It's important for people with disabilities to get the same opportunities as their peers because um, then they can they can be able to learn new things and try new things. Um, I know when I was in school, um, I got to do things with my peers, um, like our school had a, a, a play and we got to put on Beauty and the Beast and I was one of the villagers along with my sister in the play. So when I was in school I was in classes with my regular peers and um, that, that was important to me because, um, because I I got to um, learn the same information that everybody else was, and um, and I and I tried to get to um, t to make friends and meet new people. Um, if somebody doesn't have a disability and they want to get to know somebody with a disability, um. You can just go up and, and talk to them and introduce yourself. And um, and even if they're not, like, maybe part of their disability, like, if, even if they have trouble talking, like, they can um, maybe try to show the person what they like or what they want by, like, pointing at it or trying to communicate to them to a like communication device, so it, it can just be as simple as just going up and introducing yourself. Thank you so much for tuning into my vlog today. Um, I hope that by sharing my personal experiences, I've helped um, people think about how they can advocate for themselves or somebody else with a disability and help make their community accessible and um, that way nobody will ever feel left out. 
Thanks for watching Corny Explains It All. And remember, nothing about us without us. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Please like and subscribe to the Loveland Magazine YouTube channel so you never miss a new video.